Hey, 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 Big Dave the Middle Age Gamer here with another episode of Sim Settlement 2 for Fallout 4. And we are home sweet home at the dollhouse that is the new Cafe Ola. Yeah, I have changed this thing up just a little bit. Anyway, there's the pup being a pup and merging inside. <laughs> Of that dresser is our new companion, R404. And she's going to come along with us as we have things we need to do while we're waiting for the deep scanner to do its thing. We're going to go plant another weather vane at the four leaf fish packing plant. Let's go. And back once again, just outside of the four leaf fish packing plant. We're actually closer to that super mutant den that's over there, but boy, does it look quiet. <clears throat> All right, let's do this. Oof. Oh, well, hello. Honey, I'm always winning. Kill count. Come on, girl. <clears throat> and we got some shenanigans going on over there. Don't know what it is. Don't rightly care. We're going to ignore all of that. So we're going to go this way. Towards the top of the four-leash fish packing plant. Because that's where we need to be. It's a weather vane. Okay, y'all beat me on that one. That's fine. No shit. Yeah, not getting that one. in here? We sure do. Alright. And that is the end of that. Now we loot. Up here, I think, is where the legendary was. Yep. Hey, robot left arm. Fortified. Nice. We can add that to our, uh, Robot mannequin. Robot armor mannequin. 
Felt like I needed to clarify there. I'm sure there are a few of you out there going, what the hell is a robot mannequin? Why do you have a robot for a mannequin? And I felt like I needed to clear that up real quick, because no, it's not a robot for a mannequin. Well, could use more assault rifle ammo. And over here, behind everything, is where we place this bad boy. And that is that. So we're going to shut that off for now. And we got ourselves, while the thing was loading, we got ourselves a new location. And once again, back in Watts Consumer Electronics. Sure. And inside Watts Consumer Electronics. Remember... This place is quiet because we have not turned on the Psycho Robots. And because we haven't cleared it, it hasn't had a chance to reset, which means this place is freaking empty now. We just need to go to the manager's office, where our assistant manager Handy is sitting there deactivated. Fluid links! Alright. So we just need to get out of here. Fuzzy! As I walk down the railing, because Fuzzy Butt is just blocking the way. And did we actually miss something? Yeah, we missed that alarm clock. Hmm, go figure. I swear, it's like the third time in here, and each time we've found more junk that I somehow missed. Is that dust or... Yeah. Let's hope it's dust. <laughs> I don't want to know. All right, back inside the TARDIS. You're probably wondering, just like that? Well, no, not quite like that, but it was just useless traveling that got us nowhere. All right, opening up this hatch, it's for the Vitality Node. Okay. Now we hit the deep scanner again. Four more blueprints. Let's get out of here, because it's going to take a little bit. And then we will go and do another railroad quest. Lather, rinse, rock reef fucking Pete. While we're waiting, if you haven't done so yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It really means a lot, especially for a small YouTuber like me, or at least as of this recording. I was a, I'm a very small YouTuber, and I could use every single one I can get my hands on, because eventually I would like to do this as for a living. And of course, out always takes a lot longer than in. And, well, I've already committed to the talk through it. Let's just keep going. Oh, there we go. And there's our 404 with her regulation com railroad combat armor. <laughs> okay, let's figure out what we're going to do next. Uh, we're going to do the DIA cache. We're going to downtown Boston. Hub 360. Let's go. And of course, we get here and there immediately is a fight. Knew it, I heard him, just couldn't see him in time. <laughs> hmm. 
another dog over there. Okay, there he is. <laughs> Mama had a baby and its head popped off. And still showing danger. Okay, it's kind of quiet right now, so we'll take advantage of that. Okay. Some interesting choices of ammo there, but I'm not going to complain. The more interesting ones are, tend to be harder to find. Okay. All right, you guys remember, probably remember in prior episodes, I said that there's still one reason to get Vans, aside from getting that plus two perception boost later in the game. Ah, there he is. Okay, he's running off. Well, the reason is, is for this particular Railroad mission. Ooh, shotgun shells. I'm gonna clear out as many goodies as I can around here. See what we can find. How the hell did I miss this first aid kit? Couple frag grenades. I guess that I guess that overlord that I injured earlier just died. I mean, hell, I'm not going to complain about free XP. Okay, we got a meat bag over here. Oh, whoopee. Okay, so how does Vans work? You hold the Q button for PC or whatever your VATS button is, and it will reveal it, uh, your path that you need to take. And see, Vault 360 is, or Vault 360, Hub 360 is right there. If it was actually in the, in the main part, you could just go in right through the front door, but you can't. Models. So we go into this alleyway here, and we go up the stairs. And there's a lot of stairs to go up, that's okay. Now go in here, up this ramp. And there's the doorway in, okay? Without Vans, I never would have found this. <laughs> and here we are inside. 
the annex of Vault, or Hub 360. Why do I keep saying Vault? Too many damn vaults in this game. So that's the way we need to be, so we'll explore that last. Let's explore the rest of this. So here's the deal. You can make your way to the rest of Vault 3, uh, Hub 360 if you want to take a long drop. Easily doable in power armor. Not so much if you don't. We don't, so we won't. And here's the cache. Not much there, but it is what it is. So, let's get... Now that we got that squared away, and we're still waiting on... Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to... Go to do the Randolph safe house dead drop. All right, we are at the General Atomics Galleria of all places to pick up the dead drop for Randolph Safe House. Cuz sure, why the hell not? All the robots here are rather peaceful, so we're not going to disturb them. And where does it have us go? University There's Point. Lab places like this is so <sighs> University Point is usually the first spot you have to go to for this, so I shouldn't be surprised. Doesn't make it any less of a pain in the ass. So, University Point, we go. Okay, University Point, we gotta holler for another deep, uh, for another. Scan for a TARDIS part. Let's just see where it is, and we're going back downtown again. Hubris Comics? Really? <laughs> okay. Next time we go home, which will be after, probably after this, because of all the loot. We can just walk outside and across the street. Screw this. Yeah, that's the trooper I shot in the head before. Alright, he's got a gun, so... By the way, they can function just fine without a head. Oh, they even killed the Brahmin. So this is the erstwhile settlement of University Point, where Deacon grew up. And basically what happened here, well, is that somebody found something important, the Institute got wind of it, and waged a scorched earth campaign to get what they thought was here. 
And that Scorched Earth campaign was led by Kellogg. And this is a sideway, and that's a... Oh, a junker knot. <laughs> oh, big boy. Okay, you read that right. That's a shortcut to Vault 88. And you take this road, it'll lead you to Nesponsive Park, and... What the fuck is that? We're gonna save from a morbid curiosity. Glowing Hermit Crab. Holy shit. If it's pivoting, we're going after the left legs. Shit, 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 shit. If we can immobilize this thing, we have a chance. Oh, boy. I just had to be morbidly curious, didn't I? Are we doing anything to that shell? Not really.
got it. Holy crap, we got it. Successful fight means we save. University Credit Union. Yeah, why the hell not? Let's have some fun here. Like returning to the scene of a crime. No copper's gonna stop me this time. Impro Entertainment improvement in Jamaica Plain. Let's talk to Pence here. <clears throat> you want in on this action? Then wait your turn. This hall's mine. Who are you? What does it look like? I'm a bank's worst nightmare. A robber. What are you doing out here? Same thing I was doing 200 years ago, robbing this bank. Except back then, things didn't go as planned. Now, I'm here to finish the job. So, tell me what happened. See that dame behind the counter? That's Doris. It's all her fault, really. If that senile old woman just put the money in the bag like she was supposed to, I wouldn't have had to fire a warning shot. But the shot hit a ceiling fan, which fell on my head. Woke up in a hospital the next day with a pair of cuffs on my wrists. I'm not a thief, and I'm not loving your tone. God damn it. I should have figured something like this would happen. Well, I probably can't kill you, but I sure as hell can outlive you. I'm no thief. Actually, no. There's no one my luck. Our girl's not going to like that. All right, so we need to get on the other side of this of this bank. Okay, so we need to get to the back side of that bank. And the best way to do that is through here. But first things first. Let's pick some razor grain and Right on mine. That is a surefire sign. Surefire sign. Yeah, surefire sign that the institute was around. They love them some cryo. There it is. There's the robot that's retreating. Now what are you going to do? <laughs> Go ahead, dog meat. Finish the job. So that one was easy and kind of funny. Played Black Knight with him. Can't get up there. Hmm. 
There was a shop here. The clothing shop wasn't it? armor. Yo, psst. Yes, buddy. God, he's the cutest. He's got, what, six pounds left? All right, let's see what we can give him. Okay. All right, that's as good as it gets for the pup. And that'll do okay for us. Anyway, successful fight means we save. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Did not get a chance to turn off the mic for that one. So you all had to hear me sneeze. Apologies. Something upstairs, isn't there, buddy? What do you got there? What you got the You got a pipe pistol. Sure. In case you haven't noticed, there's a fair amount of loot here in University Point. Nice try. there. Eh, it looks like we got some things to bring to Buddy. And I don't mean this Buddy. He's a legendary. Is he going to go in the door? Hiding in the razor grain fields is pretty easy. Makes life easier. He can't see you. All right. Okay, I did say we were going to try and get into the back end of that bank. We're going to do it now. Yeah. This place is so 
Shoes down your spine and up your nose. <laughs> Was that a dust joke? Should lead out of University Point here. Nice. Yep. One time I found this pretty strong harness, but it was ugly so I <laughs> Yeah, and in case y'all haven't noticed, this place got trashed pretty hardcore. Wasn't there a uh, way up or somewhere around here? Huh, <laughs> nice. Okay, maybe there isn't a further upstairs. Maybe this was the upstairs. Probably. Okay, so now. I'm attack this terminal here. Shouldn't be very difficult. Oh, I always try that. Maybe. So I'm pretty sure it ends in Y. Okay, let's try Army. Yep, sweet. All right, let's go inside. Hey, how the hell did you get back there? <laughs> the radio because I don't want to get a copyright claim. Now it's time to hack. Really? A novice hat lock on this? Wow. Okay. F E N T. Okay, let's try pits. No. Okay. F E N T. P I T S. Okay, let's try that. Hey, there we go. these things last we're gonna get one to what we can first okay we're gonna start with this advanced lock here that's it okay and we're way down again
All right, we'll try this one. Thank God I got bobby pins. There we go. Yes. Not bad. Uh, now we need to pick this one. Okay, we're on to the right path already, so that's a good sign. There we go. Alright, made that one look pretty easy, and now, uh, fuzzy butt, we push on the button. Whoa. show you something funny. This was supposed to be the way out, and, uh, yeah. So, what was here that they had to keep everything so hush-hush about? That would be this. Prototype uh, UP-77 Limitless Potential. It's got the never-ending legendary trait. So, basically, you could turn this into a disgusting machine gun. You put the right barrel on it. Of course, meaning the improved automatic. So that's what the whole hubbub is for the Bank of University Point is that piece, and it's, a, um, as I said, a really nice piece. So, I mean, you got two, uh, now I now have two really good uh, laser uh, laser weapons for depending on what kind of build, combat build you use. If you go in pistols, you got Righteous Authority, and if you decide you want to go with automatics, you got the uh, UP-77. All right, let's get out of here. Alright, so that takes care of everything on the outside part of... The sensitivity of my sensors clearly needs adjustment. Hello? Okay, there's only one thing left to do. We need to go inside Sedgwick Hall. And we are home sweet home. I decided to change course and go home instead. And... Uh, Mostly because we are kind of overweight, we got a lot of stuff, and we're about to head in and do a lot more. Probably not the smartest thing for us to just go in just a little bit for essentially no reason. We're not going to need that many ID cards. And yeah, we do need to go to a good neighbor at some point and visit Buddy. And for those who don't remember, I unload even the edible stuff just in case I end up having to regenerate and I need to pop off. Uh, something to eat. We just do that. Oh wait, that does not go here. D 
the extra weapons can. The extra explosives can, though. Hey. Oh, yeah. Got a little carried away there. Old stuff. Nobody else appreciates it like we do. Hey. Molly ears. start breaking stuff down here. Now we'll let her keep Grandpa Savaldi's hat. It looks nice on her. So, yeah, we could definitely get rid of that. This, we're going to want to disenchant, dismantle. Okay, let's shine this up. Yeah, I like the overcharged. Changed improved short to improved auto. Hmm, what's the difference? Now we're definitely gonna to want to go with the recoil compensator, which we don't have. Of course not. <sighs> yeah, for uh, for this gun, it's all about the recoil. And no, we don't want a splitter. We're not turning this into a shotgun. Again, it's all it's about all about the recoil and really nothing else. If I were to take this out now, it would be a disgusting, disgusting weapon. And oh yeah, with Old Faithful, we all I forgot we also have. Hold up. With Old Faithful, we also have a sniper. So we have a laser for every type. Which is pretty sick. Okay, so we need to get rid of Oh god damn. <laughs>
Knock down, <laughs> knock down three weapons. Jeez. Okay, we'll put the uh, put the wastelander's friend up. That weapon's pretty much retired now. And what else did we knock down? The pipe grenade launcher pistol. <laughs> All right. At least that gets that caught up. Okay, there's the combat rifle. And since I'm a fan of automatic weapons, we're going to put that up and we're also going to put up Old Faithful. We're going to pretty much retire that and we're going to save fusion cells for automatics. So, what? where do we go from here? Well, let's see what we got. Hmm. We got 130 missiles? Wow. <laughs> Uh, I mean, we do have the couple of submachine guns for 45s. Hmm. Actually, what we can do. No, no, no. Our combat rifle. Our only combat rifle is a damn sniper. Ugh. So. Yeah, if we, if we had the ability to convert this into an automatic, this, that would be awesome. A radium spray and pray? That would be so sweet, but I know it's not there yet. So, and I know I gotta choose quickly because we're running out of time here. I mean, the spray and pray basically makes it so 45s are out of the question. If I want to go straight sniper. Yeah. I think it's time to bust out the Tinker Tom special. We're going straight railroad weapons here, huh? Slow as hell. Glad you got that prototype. We lost a lot of people trying to get that thing. Good people. All right, let's just make sure this thing is as kitted out as it gets. Okay. Assault rifle stock. That's fine. Quick eject. Yeah, fine. Don't have a better... Okay. Yeah, that'll do for now. Could use a better scope and... Better mag. Otherwise, this thing's in pretty good shape. All right. Yeah, you know what? I think we're going to leave it here. This video is getting pretty long. And what we're going to do is in the next episode, we're going to switch things up a little bit. We're going to go and track down. Actually, you know what we're going to do? We're 
we're just gonna prep and go to the front door of Hubris Comics. So in the next episode, we start off by getting a new TARDIS part. And then after that, we'll have to go to Good Neighbor, sell a bunch of crap, and give Buddy some beers. And then we'll go back to University Point Central Hall and finish clearing that out. That's what next episode is going to be about. And you know what? While we're waiting for this load screen to finish, why don't I say my goodbyes now so that way when it fires up, we can just say goodbye. All right, everybody. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to get the latest and greatest videos as they come in and to help this channel grow. And I don't say that just to say that, and I really do mean it. As I said, I would love to do this for a living. And with your help, with your subscriptions, I can do so. Anyway, this has been Big Dave the Middle-Aged Gamer. This is the black screen of death for Sims Settlement 2 for Fallout 4. I'm trying to stall this out as long as I can here. <laughs> okay, maybe my timing wasn't the greatest on this. <laughs> yeah. All right, there we go. I did say I was going to say my goodbyes for now. Because right across the street is where we need to be. We've been here already, but it could very well have repopped. Anyway, this has been Big Dave the Middle-Aged Gamer. This is Sim Settlement 2 for Fallout 4. I'll see you all next time.